So you have successfully bred your betta fish and now you have hundreds of betta fish fries and you're wondering how to take care of them. In this video, we'll talk to you about what is the condition and environment required for the baby fries tank and we'll talk to you about how to feed these baby betta fries and yes, it is going to vary according to their stages of growth. And number three, we'll talk to you about the maintenance work required on the baby fries aquarium. So without further ado, let's get started. Now, number one, in terms of the aquarium setup, the, most of the parameters is going to be the same as an adult betta fish aquarium setup, other than the size, which means instead of 2.5 gallon tank per for one betta fish, because they are still baby fries, what we recommend is to have at least 20 gallon of water. It's a big tank because uh, these baby fries, they will all require space of their own after they have grown up. Then afterward, you will want to check on the water parameter, which means basic things like pH value should be 6.5 to 7.2. Water temperature should be from 78 Fahrenheit to 81 Fahrenheit, which is another way of saying 25 degrees Celsius to 27 degrees Celsius. And this also means that you would want to have a water heater if your location do not naturally have this temperature all the time, this tropical country's temperature. And of course, you will also want to ensure the tank is clean, which means there should be beneficial bacteria in it to clean away better fish waste that will increase the ammonia, nitrate, nitrite concentration. And this also means you will want to have a water filter. But one thing to be very aware of here if you have water filter in the baby fries tank is the suction of the water filter needs to be really weak. You wouldn't want a really strong water current because they can actually trap the baby fries in those suction pump. We don't want that. And the way to do this is you can stuff some sponge onto this suction pump to ensure that they have a way softer water current that's suitable for baby fries. Now, the other things that you can look at would include putting some live plants into your baby fries tank. The reason is because live plants would allow infusoria, which is uh, aquatic microorganism like protozoa or algae to grow. And these are all great live food that is, you know, better fries food. So, of course, having these live plants are always a great pass point if you can put some of those in. And lastly, we would recommend you to just put a cover on top of the tank just because, you know, betta fish fries, they are very delicate. It's a lot harder to take care of than adult betta fish. So we wouldn't want any other contamination or any other uh, foreign objects to fall into this tank. So that is just something that we recommend. And the final point is also about the lighting. The lighting is going to be the same as adult betta fish, which means you will have light for like seven, eight hours of the day. And for most part, they also need night time for them to sleep. So that is the aquarium fry tank setup. Now let's talk about the food for us to feed our better fish fries. Now, when it comes to the food, for the first three days, you will still want your adult better fish to be there. He would actually take care of this baby betta fish fries and the baby betta fish fries that can feed on the infusoria, which is those microorganisms if you have life plant, or they would actually just feed on the eggs themselves. So for the first three days, it's actually quite sad and quite okay. Don't need to do much. But after three days, that is when we start to move the adult betta fish away from this tank. And after three days, we recommend feeding them really small, you know, food like baby brine shrimp. And you will do this for about a month. And after a month in, that's when you can actually feed them some of this food like brine shrimp, frozen breadworm, as well as frozen daphnia. So all of these, you can feed them for a while until about eight to nine weeks. That's when you will see color in your baby betta fish fries. And this is also when they are transitioning to adult. And this is when you can feed them more food such as like dry food. And this is also when you want to gradually transition them out of this fries tank into their individual space, 2.5 gallon water tank, just because, you know, they may actually start nipping at one another. The chance of them doing while they are still in that tank is very low because they kind of know they are from the same mother. Uh, but once you separate them and you put them back in, you will see them fight actually. So yes, at eight to nine weeks is when you want to separate them from each other so that when they are adults, they won't fight.
Now let's talk about the fry tank maintenance. You would actually just need to be changing water like we recommend twice every single week. And for the siphon that you use, you wouldn't want to use this big size siphon like this because they have a stronger suction and you don't want to suck your betta fish into another tank. Not healthy for the fries. What you want to do is use smaller siphon like airline hose because a lot of these hose they have just way smaller suction and you can even reduce the suction pump if you feel it's too strong by adding some sponge to it. And you just perform a water change, 25% of the water twice every week and that's kind of about it. As long as you keep the water parameter the same, do a little bit more water change and also feed them appropriately, then your betta fish fry should be able to survive. All right, that is the end of today's video. If you find today's video to be helpful, please leave a thumbs up. If you have any question, please leave it down at the comment section below. And if you like our content, do subscribe to us and we'll see you in the next betta fish video. Take care.